Hi friends, in talk about the process of raising invoices under the GST law. Uh, GST under the GST law, raising of invoices will become the most crucial thing. Uh, and based on how do you raise invoices, or if you if there is a, if there is a mistake or wrong filing of required information, which can actually trigger denial or delay in claiming input credits. There are two kinds of invoices which needs to be raised and raised under GST. One is tax invoice and another bill of supply invoice. Tax invoice is basically raised when a registered taxable person supplies taxable goods or services. So basically if someone who is registered under the GST, when he's, he is a, a supplying goods or services, he would raise a tax invoice. There are 16 particulars that are required to be filled up in the invoice. We would come up. We we would discuss about those particulars in the next slide. So some of the some of the these particulars are HSN number, 15 digit code, and service tax identification number, the state code. For generating the invoice, variety of transactions need to be captured, such as services on intercompany basis, stock transfer and receipt of advances, centralized procurement for redistribution. This is a sample tax invoice under GST. You will see that uh, there is a G G GST number, there is a uh, serial number of invoice, date of invoice, and uh, the, 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 there are details of receiver, details of uh, consigner, uh, address, state code, add, description, HSN number, the taxable value, CGST, SGST, and IGST value. So it's, it's a very comprehensive invoices which, which we need to raise under the GST. Now what are the timelines for issuance of tax invoices? So in case of supply of goods, the tax invoice must be issued before or at the time of removal of goods, where supply of goods involves movement of goods. So when you're selling goods, at the time when you're sending that good to the customer, either before, before, before that you need to raise invoice. It, or at the time of delivery goods to the recipient where supply so if, if so if someone comes to your store to buy goods and there is no supply movement of goods wherein you do not to, do not require to send goods then you need to raise invoice at the delivery of goods at that point of itself in case of supply of services tax invoices must be issued within 30 days from the date of supply of service so when you when you are rendering services invoices should be within 30 days from the date of that whether where the whether supplier is a bank or financial institution the invoice must be issued within 45 days of supply of service what are the copies of tax invoices under gst so in case of supply of goods three copies of invoices are required to be kept one in original one in duplicate and one in triplicate the original invoice is issued to the receiver and is marked as original for recipient duplicate is issued to the transporter if if there is a movement of goods with the invoice number and f everything and the triplicate is, is is retained by the supplier or the seller marked as triplicate for supplier in case of supply of services Two copies of invoices are required one original copy which which is for original for recipient and one duplicate for copy for duplicate for so what does tax invoice for tax for export contain is it it must have words supply meant for export of payment of igst or supply meant for export under the bond without payment of SGIC, igst so basically supply can happen either after payment of igst which you will claim refund or without uh, payment of igst under a bond name and address of the recipient delivery address number and date of are that is application for removal of goods how do we re revise invoices which are already raised in the GST this is very very important so to revise the taxable value or GST charge in invoice a debit note or supplementary invoice or a credit note must be issued by that supplier so when you need to increase the taxable value or you need to increase the GST charge in the invoice then debit note or supplementary invoice is required when we need to reduce the taxable value or GST charge in the original invoice, 
credit note is must be issued and credit note must be issued with, with, before 30th September following the end of the financial year in which the supply was made or before the date of filing of relevant annual return whichever is earlier. Let's understand with this example. So if in scenario one, if the annual return of financial year 1718 is filed on 1st December 2018, then 30th September is the is and 30th September following is the date through which you need to raise the credit credit note. Uh, in case of second scenario, wherein the uh, when the annual filing is 31st of May we need to raise by 31st of May. So it's either before or on the date of raise, filing of return or, or 30th September, whichever is earlier. What are the details which needs which we need to put in in the debit or credit note? It's basically name of the document must be indicated prominently, name, address, GSTN number, consecutive serial number, date of issue, if is recipient is registered, serial number, taxable value, signature or digital signature as may be required. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, we would come up with more videos. If you have any queries, write to us, call us.